Hello everyone and welcome to another Art Snacks box. I'm assuming this might be December actually or it might be January. Let's find out. Just want to think I'm going to be all swish with opening this thing. It takes me ages. So let's have a quick cheeky look. It is December. It's December's one. Let's put that out of the way. So we've got, oh it's broken. No mind, it's still cute. It's like a little little Christmassy twirly thing. I'm assuming peppermint. Alright, let's have a look. Okay. It's it's quite bulky. We're going for bulk this one this month. I'm just gonna stick my hand in there. Ooh, oh, I saw, I saw, oh I saw. Okay, we've got a green, mid-green mid paint pen by Durant. One of these, Zig Clean Colour. Oh, it's not the um, not the one I was expecting. It's got a big bullet and a little bullet. Normally these ones, or the ones I've seen, these Zig ones, they've got a big round thing that you can splodge uh, spots all over. But that's, that's different. I assume it's the same water-based dye ink as the other one, but in aqua? Yeah, aqua. Next we have, we've got another Derwent paint pen. I've actually got a few of these. I bought a pack, I got carried away, I haven't used it yet. That's pretty much my stuff, yes. Uh, this one's in ocean blue. Then we've got a graph alcohol twin, yeah, twin tip alcohol based marker. Blimey, look at that. That's tiny. I've never seen one, it's a fine liner, basically. I've never seen one that small before something like this. Okay, and the other one is a brush. Hmm, that's interesting actually. Oh, then we've got, ah, now, these are water-based. I've never figured these out. These are Ecoline, basically watercolour markers. Uh, one in deep grey, and I can already see, oh, one in yellow ochre. Interesting colours we've ended up with. And last but not least, we've got the little sticker. It's very, um, very 80s. Oh, I quite like that one. So this is what we've, uh, what we've ended up with for December. Not what I call Christmassy colours, but I suppose, uh, what day is it today? It's the 19th of December actually today. This is when, when I got these. Um, let's have a go at the the dose. Why did Roy Lichtenstein love balloons? He was a pop artist. Okay, fair enough. Right. Oh, so we got a bit of alcohol, a bit of paint, and a bit of watercolour. Interesting. Let's um, let's see what they look like. Let's have a look at these paint pens first. This is an interesting green. I I do I like it. I don't know. Let's see how much it looks like that. Oh god, do I have to pump it or I'm scared. One time I pumped something that didn't need pumping and the nib never came back out again. It was great fun. It appears to be pumping. It's it's so it's so look at this. Look how teensy it is. I'm I'm scared. Can you even see that? I don't know. Oh, ah, there we go. They're so tiny. I can get pretty good coverage actually. Okay, that would take some time to colour something in, but there you go, a smiley face. But yeah, okay. Interesting. I like the colour actually. Now it's now it's out. So ooh, don't go mad. Stay, 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 stay. There we go. Right, let's pump this little ditty one as well. It's terrifying. There we go. Interesting colours. I guess we're really, I don't know, I think I'll be actually uploading this. Ooh, look at that. After Christmas. Maybe even in the new year, I don't know. Should we aim for a new year theme? Something uplifting and almost springy. What if you put them together while they're wet? I 
can kind of get them to go together. Can I get it off the end of this one? That's a... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't break anything. Right, let's have a go at this one. This is the Clean Colour Aqua Water-Based. Stop. It's very lucky. Can you even see that? I'm looking at the monitor and I can't see anything. You can tell it's watery. Will it start eating the paper up? That's plausible. You can see that now. Why am I drawing hearts? I don't know. Let's draw a flower. There we go. Interesting. Very light. But I wonder if it'll go... Hmm. I'm just wondering if we can... Let's use the other end. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that's healthy, but it's picking it up. Should I have done that? I'm not quite sure. Ah. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe with a paintbrush we can mix those two, but they mix quite nicely. Next we have this one. What colour is this? 7125. Okay. Oh, Sky. This is Sky, everybody. Hi, Sky. Let's see. It's a lot of fine linery things. Not that thin. Not as thin as I thought. I've n Comments down below. Have you ever seen an alcohol marker with something like that? That is so dinky. I mean, I'm not complaining. What have I got on the other page? Is it awful? Kind of. It's not coming through too badly. That's not bad. Next we've got our Ecoline uh, water, water markers. Water paint markers. I don't know. I really like these things. I've got a few of them, but I can never figure out what I'm supposed to do with them. It's like if you want to use watercolour, then get a pan of watercolour. And they do tend to eat the paper up, but... Ooh, that's nice and bright. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't, don't put it in the paint, I think is the answer to that. Well, it's an interesting group of colours. I think definitely we're going to go for a springtime look in some capacity. We'll go, yeah, early, early spring. It's still, still a bit brown, still a bit cold, but we're just starting to see a bit of colour come through. I think that would be nice. OK, I, I kind of drew a fish. Is that springtime? I, I, I'm counting it as springtime. I really tried. I, I practice with these materials as is. And it just, they don't look, I can't make these things, especially the eco line things, look good without just what I ended up doing, which is putting them in a palette and watering them down and using a paintbrush. Okay, that's what I ended up doing. I think I've said it like a billion, zillion times. Every time this comes up, what is the point of having paint in a brush pen if you're just going to awkwardly put it into a palette and use it like you would a pan or a tube. I don't get it. I If it's in a pen, I want to use the pen, but I, I keep trying and I really like these Ecoline things. I've got loads of them, but I can't figure out how to use them. And in the end, yeah, I did this. So anyway, these colours, they were, they were very odd and I was racking my brains and I was trying to draw some sort of landscape and stuff. And then I thought, I'll draw a fish. And literally the first fish I came along was pretty, it was like a beta, beta, little 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 pretty fish, and it pretty much had these colours more or less kind of. There's a bit more orange than yellow that this fish is, but I thought right, I'm drawing that. That was literally the first fish that came up on Pinterest, and I'm having it. So I drew a fish. It's a springtime fish. Um, they, this was an odd assortment. They're all watery except that one blue alcohol marker, which I will admit I forgot. So you'll see me stop and then thought, oh, I forgot this. So I, I stuck it on somewhere. But um, they, they work nicely again with the paint pens, the little the little thin nib, bullet nib ones. Well, I mean, hmm, it's, it's interesting. I try, you'll see me using the blue one in a minute and they're oh my lord these dry so quickly 
These you have to treat with these ecoline things. And are they ink? I don't know, but they dry so quickly. And there was me putting this paint pen down and trying to like dilute it around. But my lord, they, they dry so quickly. There's there's not much you can do once you've put this line down. Which is fine if you're lining something, if that's what they're for. But yeah, kind of went a bit splodgy in the end. Possibly should have checked that out first, really. But ah, well makes it more exciting I suppose doesn't it but yes this is what I ended up with uh, definitely they are more I see the eco line they're more ink like than watercolor like if that makes sense they dry so quickly so I, I went for a more sketchy look in the end because I couldn't I, I couldn't move them around I think anyway I couldn't like I, you know you can watercolor but I, know, I like it. I do like it. They're very muted, dull colours, really. So it's not the shiniest of, of little fish, but I did my best. I quite like that effect with the with the scales of putting it down um, with the blue paint pen and then going over it with a diluted version of itself. I quite like that. And then I used this. This is this is water based as well, but it's not like paint or anything. So it's a weird combination of of um, supplies. And sometimes I guess they're just giving you random supplies. And do they really think all of these can be used together or are they just giving you different choices? I mean, to do this, these YouTube videos, we generally sort of try and stick them all together. But um, eh, interesting. And the alcohol marker. I mean, why did I get one one alcohol marker just just sort of left there? just on its own, just being an alcohol marker and all his friends are water-based. That was a bit sad. So I did use it at the end, but there's not much I could do with it really. So I just sort of went around the, the fish a little bit. But anyway, I like drawing fish. You can get really, really swoopy with it and, and just like, oh, look, there's a, there's a scale over there and there's a fin. That kind of thing. You know what I mean. Um, I wish... I always think about using stuff outside, but I wish I'd use a jelly roll pen on, on the eyes. I might go back and do that, actually, looking at it, because the eyes end up just as, as well. You, there you go. I use the, the eco-line eco line, um, to get as dark as I could, and I try to go around it, but I'd like to go bit of a bit of a gel pen and just brighten up the eyes a bit. And then this is the sort of... the. Uh, the back fin, I couldn't quite figure out on the picture what bit of the fin this was. But yeah, it's kind of further back from the fish. So I'm doing it more swoopy-ish or I'm trying to do it more. That was a mistake. That blue bit there. And then it was like, it wouldn't go away. And I, I couldn't blend it. So I just put more blue on it. That that fixes things, right? Anyway, there I go. Bit bit more blue and it's it's fine. It's, it's giving that... Uh, that fin more definition that's what I'm going with anyway th then oh yeah I do remember there's a green one as well so I just sort of use the green a little bit at the end just a very little bit this wasn't this wasn't my favorite pack I must admit these these colors weren't doing it for me and there you go that's seaweed and um it was a weird combination of water and alcohol but Ah, well, there you go. Um, there you go. You see me putting it in the palette there and just watering it down and using it as normal paint. What was the point of having it in a brush pet? Stop going on about that, Sam. It's it's fine. But anyway, there you go. There's my fish. Um, you'll see me try and add the alcohol mark in a bit. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. My my fish. Let's call him. Let's call him Albert. Albert the fish. There you go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. There it is. Um, yes, like and subscribe and all of that awesome stuff. It would be wonderful of you and I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, thanks very much. Bye.